check out where we are. Gotta go this way. Wow. Not quite as packed as the turkey rod run in November, but had a decent turnout. Things I see here that I want to get. Um, pacer. How much you got on that? 15. I, know about that one. I just picked this one up at the market on Wednesday yep. with, with red lines on it. Yep. Yeah, I paid 30 bucks for it. Loose, but it's cherry. Yep. Fair price or what? Fair price. Okay. Fair price. I'm going to get that one because that's our current king of the hill, but I'd love to see how the old one with the black walls performs. Yeah, I guess James lost a lot of stuff, too. Did he? He said he just went and bought the commercial uh, tents and stuff. Yeah. They got destroyed, but the old flimsy ones he was getting ready to throw away is alive. Oh, yeah, of course. Said, of course. But let me that one year. My buddy put... Cheap plastic over his stuff and he's all survived and I had mine all tarped and flipped and I lost them. <clears throat> it's a shame that it just, we just didn't have the weather out here this time, you know? Alright, I'm gonna get these. Let me run over here to the dollar stuff real quick. And right? old NASCAR. Oh, NASCAR's there? there? Okay. All right, I'll take a look at that. Any NASCAR down there, no matter what it's Hey, Chris, give me a hot bag. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Great to see you. I'm doing pretty good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that's what I got for the Day, so I probably missed out on a lot of stuff. Give somebody else a chance to get some cool stuff.
cartoon. And I had all these back in the day before I ever even had a YouTube channel. I picked up all the Formula One stuff. That's the under sea pack, that's cool. So we just got the space one and that is on. These are the only two grease gremlins you got, Dave? It's probably. Alright, let me see where I'm at, because I didn't bring all that amount of money with me. Let me just see. Standing here with Dave chit chat and mm -hmm. found a few more things I can't live without. Two bucks each, can't beat that. And then uh, man, this is how you know Dave's an honest guy. I guess I forgot two cars last time I was out here in November and Dave saved them the whole time for me. There you go. And this bad boy. Didn't even realize. Yeah, that's awesome.
Well, guys, not a bad day of picking out here with Hot Wheels Dave. Didn't get much else. Second time my car's ever been rainbow. That's all right, though. Back out at the market. Place is packed. 60 degrees out. Just going to go for a quick pick today. Let's go see what we find. Here at Brett's. Might be a one-stop shop today. Let's see. That's red. Already finding some stuff. Week, get another one this week. Go kart for Manny. Hey, fast fish. Probably my one of my favorite fantasy castings. Fast fish. Another one. I'll take all the zero ones. Thank you. Body Mustang. Me cheat on the edges here. Thousands of maids up because I've got them already. You got a swell head. This is what it is. You got a swell head. Took me forever to find my first zero one, and I just found not play. See if I messed up and covered anything on the table. Yep. Right? Yeah.
Got a few of those. I don't need to get that. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but go watch the King of the Hill and you'll see why. to the table here and see what we got. Hey, an invisible part. I'm gonna assume you know how to count. <laughs> oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, there they know. I don't change up much. I'm gonna be gone for a couple weeks, so. Are oh, you? Yeah? yeah, I got a surgery coming up. Oh, jeez. Yeah. And hopefully in the process, I'll get, I'm supposed to be buying like 9,000 Hot Wheels off a guy. Wow. Yeah, so. How much for that? I'm all about that. I said a bunch of 90s stuff. I'm like, cool. So maybe we'll find some Ferraris. <laughs> How much you got on that one? 40. 40. That Corvette ain't calling you no more? It is. <laughs> it is. You're going to race that against a new car. I was going to try to. <laughs> That'd be cool. I just don't want to get that invested in the... What did I tell you on that bet last time? 40. 40. About 60 for the two. I'm trying to work with you. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't buy them for 50 cents. I hear you. Back in the day, we did. That's over with. That's a good looking flying color, so. It's nice. All right. yeah, I'll do those two. All righty. 
here. Look at this. That is cool. I gotta get that. Loco Viper. Huh. Look at these. These are awesome. Good stuff over here. Look at the miniatures. That is neat. It's a loot pack. I'm picking these up, but I don't even know how much they are yet. They did have a bunch of Corvette stuff out here. They do, director. Look at that thing over there. Packaging, but they probably wouldn't stay in the bag of the mineral. What is this? No, it's a little packaging. I do want one. I love it. But I'm not ready for it yet. I don't know if they're a buck. There's a bunch of kids. The train set stuff. Wow. Okay, stick to one hobby, Chris. Get a few things from you. This is a show you the wheels. Yeah, I mean, I was disappointed. I was looking forward to getting a bunch of stuff out there, but when something's wrong with your real car, you're like, I can't go looking around for, for little cars right now. There's a Circle Flame logo before it was a TM. Oh, that's cool. Tune cars. Now, some people don't pick them up, but I do. Make them pretty neat. Yeah, I got so many of those. Hey, okay, cool. Can't beat six or five, that's for sure. Quite a few tune cars in here. I don't think I have this one. Golf cart. Ooh, look at that.
is the SC bus. That's cool with the SC bike. Then buggy. Oh yeah, courageous. Wow, I haven't seen that in a while. Look, look in this bin. <clears throat> yeah, that's a cool one. All right, now I gotta get six. Minutes. How much is that little tackle box over there with the little tackle box with the lures? Not much in it, but where is it? Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. Because I thought I saw something with a little bit of tackle in it. Three dollars for all of it. Okay, I'll take that. And we found a lot of stuff. Not a bad day of pick. Go home and see what we got. Back home bad couple days of picking went to a couple different places a bunch of my favorites hot wheels dave brent big man let's start off with what i got from hot wheels dave good to see that guy and sue been a while dave always giving me some great deals too We've got a nice Honda Civic Custom EG hatch. I always love to pick these up when I see them. 56 Corvette from Barbie. Still haven't seen that movie. Don't know if I ever will, but like the car. There's a nice Thunderbird Pro Street car. Matt and Debbie Hayes. Love that. Love this one too. 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone. What's it say? El Segundo Cyclone? Yeah. Here's a nice one. Land Rover Series 2 with the surfboard. A tuned Mercury Breaker. No. Tuned Mercy Breaker. Just a fantasy car. Not sure what that looks like. Sorry if you guys are getting any wind noise. It's a bit breezy. This thing. Ford Focus drag car. The big wing. Parachute on the back. That is killer. And we got a Midnight Auto metal on metal car. Holy but goody right there. Drop that bass. Bass. Got the boom box. Nice two pack. We got ourselves a Lumina Stalker with the Ultra Hots and a side splitter with the fat black walls on the back. Look at that paint, guys. 
Love the Hot Wheels livery. Beautiful blue sparkle. Gorgeous. And always got to pick up a King Kenny when I see one. Love these wheels too. I think these are called, yeah, Pro Circuit wheels. King Kenny. Don't blow in the pool. And then the creme de la creme. Got some loose ones from Dave. Beauties. You know, I've been called cheap before, which is probably true. But every once in a while, I'll spend a little more to get a little bit better. First off, two bucks on this right here. Manuel likes to collect the go-karts, so got him a few go-karts here. It's a neat little one there. One day we'll have to do a little go-kart race. Got a nice green one. All of them are in perfect condition. Well, kind of. This guy looks like he might have gotten to the wall here. Oh, there it goes. Fix itself. Nice green. And purple. It's a cool one. Look at that. Ready to race. What right, else do we have here? Another $2 car. Beautiful condition. Excellent roller. Got the ultra hots on it. Heavy metal on. Wait a minute, plastic? Yeah, not metal on metal. Plastic car, but great roller. Still heavy, too. Thick die cast on that bad boy. Look at this one. I love this matchbox here. Check out the turbine on top. Spins as you move. I have several editions of this car, but not in this good a shape. Decent shocks. I love that look. Keep that to the side, because I know we got another uh, GT racer somewhere here. Let's see if it's it. Nope, this is the neat streeter. Street is neat. Look at that with the black walls. The tire isn't even touching and it still rolls well. Love the fat black wall. Ah, this is one of the ones that Dave saved for me. I guess I forgot it last, last year. Dave was kind enough to hold on to it for me. 57 Chevy Matchbox. Love that hood on there. Thanks again for saving that for me, Dave. Save this one for me, too. Guess I forgot two cars last year. The Quaker State Buick. Nice Indy car. Indy or Formula? I think it's an Indy car. Matter of fact, I know it is because Buick was never in Formula One. What is this? Another GT racer? Yep. Look at this one. Ultra Hots. This one is metal on metal. Man, yeah. Big difference. This is the Solaire. Still rolls great. One day we're going to have a nice race with these oldies. And then this one. I've been after this for a while. A beautiful orange pack and pacer with the hot ones. One of my favorite cars as a kid. I remember getting in a couple discussions with my dad and he's like, yeah, the fastest car out right now is a Mustang GT. I said, that's impossible. Faster than a Corvette? He says, yep. This is back in the early 80s. And uh, I said, what about a pack and pacer? He said, that's not a real car, Chris. That's a Hot Wheels. He was right. And then we got a, look at this, Hot Wheels. That's the taxi service with the Hot Ones. Man, you don't, you don't usually see the fat Hot Ones back there. Look at that. That fat tire.
tire on there. Great rolling car. Nice metal on metal. Seven bucks. Well, Got to pay to play when it comes to these oldies. Speaking of pay to play, look at this. Now we'll keep this one out because later on you're going to see a red line edition of this that I picked up from Brent. This one though, I got it for five bucks. Awesome metal on metal. 76, beautiful tampos, black walls. Man, just a perfect example of that car. Reminds me of being a kid right there. What else we got? Oh, another one of these. You know, this one's a little different. Another metal on metal, ultra hots. Dang, definitely the best roller out of the three of those. Let's scoot these guys over so we can park these similar cars next to each other. What do we have here? Oh, yeah. A former king of the hill. That's as much hint as I'll give you. If you haven't watched the race over on Ghost Trigger yet. This one's got black walls, intercooled F3. Man, what a car. This one's definitely got more metal than the current King of the Hill does. Metal on metal, a little bit of plastic on the side, but good roller too. And let's see what 60 bucks got me over at Brent. According to Dave, it's a fair deal. I'm not a big redline collector but I know enough that is a beautiful car man somebody kept that in perfect shape redline back there is a little caddy wampus but look at that bad boy beautiful metal body metal base Hong Kong car US and foreign patent man it's just Perfection right there. So Brent was kind enough to give me these cars for 60 bucks, so I got them 30 each. And there we have it. $5 car, $30 car. The only difference being the red lines. Beautiful. Yeah, no difference in the tampos. No difference in anything else. Let's see what it says on the bottom. Take this off. Clean that up later. Yeah, both of them Hong Kong, Mattel. I mean, identical cars. Yeah. Wow. Stoked to have these in the collection. And also, always got some good cars on the dollar pegs there. Another go kart. Almost like that one, but a little bit different tampos on it. So, man, he's going to have four go karts here. Kids raking it in here. 70 Pontiac GTO Vert. Love that car. Look at that. Always love when they put the bio on the back. Speciality with four headlamps, new body creases, and a redesigned rear end. This convertible was made for luxury cruising in the sun. Yep, and there it goes. Look at this wide body Mustang Cobra number 17. I oh, love that car. Set up for road racing. That is cool. Here's a cool one. 2016 BMW M2. Like the racing tampos on it. Number 21. For 2021, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I remember those cars. In there. Series there. Hey. Chevy Chevette. Set up for the drag strip. The wheelie bars. That's a nice one. Big old H2 Hunter. That's the HT or SUT rather. 
the truck. Nice gold paint job. Big off-road wheels. Can't beat a buck for that. Hey, look at this. Another king of the hill. Cadillac Escalade. Very fast casting. Not to be confused with the boombox, though I'm sure it boombox took a little inspiration from the Escalade. This one is a fast one, guys. Ooh, a little gross on the back. It's all right, it'll be coming out here soon enough. One of my favorite fantasy castings, the Fast Fish. Yeah, this car always reminded me of like a, a newer Pontiac. Could be the new Firebird. Could be the new GTO. Something like that. Very cool fantasy car. BMW M4 with the nice cherry red paint job. Look at that thing sparkling in the sun. Trap 5's on it. Not bad. There's a cool one. Jet Threat 4.0. This one has the wings that fold down. Hey, another one. Drop the bass. Bass. That's a cool looking boombox. Yellow with a red flame. Pinkish color windshield. One of my favorites here, the Corvette Grand Sport. Number two. That's a beauty. 73 Honda Civic Custom. Nice orange. I like the X's on the headlight. I think that's pretty cool. Nice job on that car. Look at this. La Troca. That is neat. What's that say? A Zillon? I don't know what that says on the side. But love the pinstriping and a purple paint job. Beautiful low rider. 96 Mustang convertible. Got the prancing pony on the side, right in the middle of the flames there. Flames on the hood. Neat. And Call me greedy, but I had to get the blue version of my car in real life. This is the 09 Corvette ZR1. I mean, it took me forever to find a ZR1. Probably six, seven years into my collecting before I finally got one. And now I got three. I got a lot more than that now, but find three in one, uh, one spot. That was cool. Love the detail of the supercharger. Sticking out of the hood, carbon fiber roof. One of the best cars ever created. Some NASCAR and some other cool stuff. Look at this. Action Pack Sojourner Mars Rover set. This is wild, man. All these sets are so cool. Look at this with the police force, surf patrol. Undersea Adventure, we saw that at Dave's. I almost got it, but I didn't. Home Improvement, I already got that one. I think I got that somewhere in my collection. The firefighting, the construction. And this one is the Mission to Mars. So we got the Lander. Sojourner Mars Rover. And the Mars Pathfinder. Very neat. And then... Some very special die cast. Love these NASCAR. Look at this one. Dale Jr. Beautiful candy apple red paint job on that one. The baseball livery. Got a card back there. Look at that. It's got some stats. And look at this. Little... Tribute card, a Dale Sr. and Dale Jr. 
This one's got number eight on it though, so this is Junior's car. Love that. Father and son right there. Another Dale Jr. This one's with the, uh, looks like a qualifying car if I'm not mistaken. Used to love this too when they got the little hood magnet. Stick it on your door or whatever you got that's metal. Dale Jr. in the 81 car. That messed up a lot of people's tattoos, right? Of course, he just had to add a one on the end. There's the uh, 93 Amoco Ultimate. Racing Champions Viper. Got that V10 in it. That thing is crazy. A little bit bigger scale, if I remember correctly, than 164th. Or like a 158th scale or something. And look at this. There's a Dale car. Top comes off, shows you a whole chassis and roll cage in there. The power plant. This is from 98, so. Yeah, cool. Look at these little miniatures. Motorworks 187 scale die cast. That's cool. All, o these are 03, so these are just commemorative. We got 10 and 12, a couple real cars. Pretty neat. This I thought was awesome. Look at this, I had to get this. Josh is getting this, he doesn't know it yet though. He wishes he had a bass boat like that. Look at that thing, man. He even got the seats to stick into the deck. Cool looking trailer. Man, that's awesome. Dale Jr. Bass boat. Hey, look at this. You got a little bit of the uh, Bass Master schedules. <laughs> Neat. Let's take that right over here. These I thought were cool too. You got the winner's circle. That's about my limits of what I can put together right there. Four parts. I like that kind. Not too complex. And we got a, another Dale Earnhardt Jr. Get a little screwdriver too. All right, last but not least, we got big man. Always find some great deals in the six for five, and then let's start off right here. As I was leaving and paying for everything, he says, Oh, I have something for you. Gave me this, and I do not have it. V on top, Mustang funny car. I have this car, but not in this colorway. Love that Hot Wheels art cars. That is that is awesome. To put that in our funny car race. Up over here. Haven't seen this in a while. We we're just talking about this a, what, a week or a couple weeks ago. Circle Flame logo before it meant T Hunt. 77 Dodge van. Very cool. I see Hot Wheels going to bring the vans back too. Here's one from a Silver Series. Love this. Fire Eater. The seven spokes on it. Seven spokes? Yeah, seven spokes. Man, love that. The chrome. That is neat. Another one I like here, the rigger motor. Especially with those wheels. Dark Rider series. Look at this. Beauty. Silver Series again. This is the 57 Chevy. Chromed out body. Metal base. Man, that's a hot rod right there. Very cool. It's like they shaved the doors. Got no doors on it. Got a slide in the window like the Duke boys. Speaking of which, that was cool to see the General Lee out there. 
There's the Corvette Stingray C3 car. Not a fan of these wheels on here, but I get it. Plastic body metal base. Of course, I think if you're going to be on the track, that's what you want because it gives you a little bit of weight down low instead of weight up high. So should go through the booster loops and curves, as race crews used to say. Here we've got the Silhouette 2. Oddball casting. Pretty cool colorway, though, with the pinstriping. I usually pick up stuff with pinstriping. I think that's cool. And then on to some tune cars. I guess if you look at it from this angle, it looks like a regular car, kind of. Just at a weird... Weird angle. Anyway, that's the Cadillac 16 concept. And we got another oddball. This is the Toyota Celica. Big old front tire. I guess it's supposed to get right in your face like this. Give you some sort of cool look. I don't know. Kind of weird still. Anyway. These are more the tune cars I like. Look at this thing. Got big old wheels on it. Sometimes these things end up being really fast if you got some loops. Some different things going on in the track. Look at all the all the tampos and stuff on it. I didn't spare any expense on stickers on that one. Then we got a tune C6 in yellow. That's pretty neat. <laughs> Big old honking exhaust back there. A little weird looking chubby, but fun car to have. Pontiac Rages. This would have been a cool car for them to make in real life. It was a pretty fast car on a track, too. Pretty neat. This thing, dune buggy. Power sander. Off-road tire in the back. Little single-seater. That thing must be fun in real life, huh? Ah, oh, another one. <laughs> that one's cool. Okay. Nice little desk piece. The pinstriping. Low Rider. Cool. Another Pontiac. Perhaps one of the quirkiest Pontiacs ever made. Of course, this one looks really cool, though, so now. This is a Pontiac Aztec Custom. Got a wide body kit on there. Actually, don't look half bad in this way. Look at this cool little Fiat. 5,000 Modificado. Beauty. Italian colors on the side, on the hood. Very neat. Tankinator. Pretty cool one. Quirky thing. The Mega Blocks Brick and Delivery. Got the pixelized flames on it, which I thought were really cool. Looking 8 bit. That's neat. This thing. A little fantasy car. Metal on metal, painted base. Very neat version of that one. Brand new Silverado EV RST. Same as the Hummer, I believe. I don't think this one can crab walk. Tell you what, it looks cool. This thing, man. Cadillac Project GTP Hypercar. This thing is crazy. Flat black. Huh? That is wild. Very neat. Ah, Matchbox. Love this one with the chopper on the trailer there. Very cool that Matchbox does these. I miss when all the cars had a tow hitch on the back. 
Tells you how old I am. Look at this, 70 Dodge Charger RT. Eye on the top? Is that an eye or a one? I guess that's an eye. Pretty neat. Cool paint job. And that's our last one. Well, guys, as you can see, not a bad haul. We even got a lot of quality this week. I mean, some beautiful cars, huh? Come on, last look at that Corvette and that thing. Beautiful stuff. A little bit of everything this week. All right, guys. Happy picking. Stay safe out there. Hope you find what you're looking for. Take care. Tandem.